murdered Uriah. And he did. And so now he's committed adultery. Now he wants to cover up, to hide his sin, and to lie about it. And now he's murdered one of his most trusted and loyal friends. Well, is God going to bless that? No. So God confronted him and corrected him, and David repented. And he came clean before God. And he admitted that it was sin. And he said, God, if you'll receive me and watch me and give me a fresh start, I'll begin to live for you the right way. And God did. And God not only continued to bless his life and made his son to be King Solomon, but even hundreds of years after David was dead, when David's descendants were sinned and God's punishment would have to come to them, God would often say, but I'm not going to punish you as harshly as you deserve for the sake of my friend and servant David. And so, even after David had committed those sins, God forgave him, God washed it away, God started fresh, and God began to work with him as if it was a brand new life. And that's what God's doing for many people today. God says, I'm starting you fresh today if you'll receive it. If you'll receive it, I'm starting you fresh today. So here's what we need to do. Jesus said, if you'll abide in me, let me abide in you. We have to have a connection. We have to stay connected. You know, you can't plant a fruit tree and then every week pull it up and take it to another place and plant it somewhere else. And then pull it up and take it somewhere else and expect it to be fruitful. It takes time of being planted in the same place. This is one characteristic of Americans. Americans either don't go to church frequently and consistently, or they church off. They go from this church to that church. It's sort of like it's a restaurant. 